Hello, this is uh, Yaroslav and Adrian. Hey, guys. Yeah, and you're listening to the friendly show uh, podcast where we talk about uh, Ruby on Rails, uh, working remotely, friendship uh, online between engineers, and uh, and basically whatever. And today we have a special guest. It is Nazir. And uh, actually, I first met Nazir on LinkedIn, and uh, I've noticed that he has been promoting a book that he just recently released about uh, uh, like Ruby on Rails interview Bible. And uh, it was uh, really interesting to me because uh, I, uh, well, I'm uh, really interested in the topic of like uh, getting uh, a Ruby on Rails job. I know that it can all often be really ha- hard, especially if you don't have a lot of experience in uh, uh, technology yet, especially like getting your first job, putting your foot into the door. And, uh, well, interviews can be really messy. They are really broken, uh, in my opinion, at this uh, moment. So I really was interested in inviting Nazir to us and uh, for him to tell us more about uh, his uh, book uh, and actually his books, because he has written a few of them. So uh, Nazir, could you please introduce yourself? For... Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you for, for, for letting me be here to, 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 to present my book and my work, previous work and my future work. So uh, about the book, yeah, my name is Nazir. I am born in Bosnia. I spent uh, all my life almost in the Bosnia. Last two years, I come to Indonesia. I'm traveling in Southeast uh, Asia. Uh, just just we mentioned before, uh, I'm, I'm newly father. I got my Zara, he's three months. <laughs> yeah, the, all, all the, to you guys, you will know, like Adrian, Adrian already senior in that role. <laughs> yes, I I know yeah, how that. Next... I know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's a beautiful beautiful feeling. Yara Yara is the next next he's junior role, like preparing <laughs> yeah. from interview for for childhood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and as here I I I um, uh, I'm start with the uh, software developer in 2006 as uh, C sharp developer, .NET developer. I did a lot of uh, office work of uh, office for company inside Bosnia and Herzegovina, and I did some outsourcing for the UK, for the for the USA, and everything. In 2009, I got my first degree in in uh, computer science. It was, I mean, it, it's certification about .NET framework. It was really hard certification. So At that time, I think like Nazir, yeah, in 2006, uh, you started your first job as a software developer. Me in 2006, yes. I started my first job as a high school uh, student. <laughs> wow! Yeah, I can. Wow! Well, well, that that's before 18 years, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Th- thanks, why? Mm-hmm. So in 2006, I think I started. I started college. So still, like, we're we're kind of in the same in in. Uh, yeah. Something happened that's... for all of us in 2000. Yes, yeah, some beginnings, new new beginnings. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and yeah. finally, like after after eighteen years, we are in the Ruby together, and <laughs> nice. that's all that matters, man. So, yeah. so you started your first uh, your, your first job as a developer, but you don't have a computer science degree. Or could you call yourself a self taught engineer? Absolutely, I will tell you one 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 very funny funny situation. Like uh, people in Bosnia understand that nice. So probably people all, all around the world will understand also. Uh, I. I uh, I got college degree from first. I had high school uh, about mining, mining. Like I live in small city in the middle central Bosnia, and it's it's popular for mining. Like even we have uh, like world champion in the mining. He, he even he, uh, before 50, 60 years he uh, he he won over uh, in competition over some USSF, some some Strahanov, some very popular national hero or something. They compete wow. who will more yeah so that small city very interesting city i work there and everything is uh, uh is about mine and mining so i, I finished my high school about mining and then after that i got uh, i wanted to go to economics to college but i got uh social work political science so okay. i got and the idea was to, to like I, I didn't i didn't accept it on the first term so I, idea was let's go to the first year to some other College and then later you 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 will change. Yes. But was was the interesting that part? You know, when you go to the social work, there is like nineteen girls and two three boys. Yes, I agree. So who, who will change that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Like, let's so, so I stay and I finish that and I even work like two three months. But you know, it was hard work because government 
don't provide enough for all people in needs and you are the middleman and every day you had need to talk with the people to help them and it was really not so not so not so sm- I would say not so good good position good good job at that time now it's better okay yeah, so, yeah. then I decide like let's go to internet let's read a lot dial up connection 30 or something plus programming languages uh, I, I even now remember the Delphi 7 uh, 141 megabyte I, I download over the night for 30 days 30 wow. days I it was it was connection dialog connection yep. 4.2 4. 4.2 kilobyte per second and over uh, from one to to morning to seven we had only like phone you, you need just to pay phone bills you don't need to yes. pay you know I those those times. yeah I so those you times. understand me you understand me <laughs> yes of course so yeah, I what was I tried it. So what was like your first like encounter with technology? What was your first contact when and when you said like, hey, I love this. I would love to work with it. And this could be something that I could do. Uh, first year on the college social work, we had uh, in, in informatics, uh, the like exam. And, you know, I never touched. I'm 19 years old. I never touched the computer. I know about mouse. I know about, uh, I don't know, some screens about type keyboard and everything, but I never touched. You know, after war, in Bosnia war, 1905, in 1908, I'm starting my college. Still, still nothing. And what's happened? It's happened that we need to buy the book about IT, newest book. But it's, it costs like now 35 euros. But my ticket from my city, bus ticket to the Sarajevo, to the center, to my college is like 35 euros. I didn't have the money to, to buy yeah. that. Like it's too, yeah. too much. And what's happened? We have some scripts and I learned from the scripts and I got 10. 10, 10, 10, uh, 10, mark 10, right, on, on my exam. And it was happened like two, three guys get 10, and like there was 350 people, like five, five different, uh, 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 I'll say, five different, yeah, on political science, we have five different, uh, how to say. Categories. Categories, yeah, yeah. Uh, journalism, political science, uh, social yeah. work, uh, defense, or something like that. And I, I got 10. You know, I remember something, like I remember 600 questions from that. Scripts like something like, take mouse, click right, click left. You know, I just imagining in my head what's happening. But I, wow. I, I, I get everything in my head. And what, you know, at that time, my, my father has the, he has the cow, you know, cow okay. and sheep. And yeah. I, I, I was in my garden, take care of my cow and sheep, and I'm learning about, yeah, right click, yes. click. That's the funny part, you know, but that's the, and you know, that's, that's just the truth. And yeah. Yeah. Like that. I, when I got then, I was thinking, hmm, look, my brain works well with that. Like, I mean, it's like I understand that. You know, that was the, you reminded me somewhere in LinkedIn, I saw a post of some kind of Indian uh, lady who is working at uh, Microsoft and basically she's posting that like her parents uh, uh, like um, n- know nothing about technology. They like uh, live uh, a very traditional lifestyle. They don't have any electrical appliances and she is working in the like high tech and like uh, how different uh, two generations uh, of a family can be. Yep. Yeah, that's great. That's great, man. That's great, man. Believe me, that, that, that people work a lot. That, yeah, sorry. so your story is it like brings me time to it bring, brings my you know my memory it brings me a memory uh of like before i remember like people were you know were learning about development and programming through books and with a pen of and paper right so you exactly. would basically have to do oh, like one year university. yeah one year of university or study like a very thick book and then after you study that then you could go and touch the computer you need to have everything yeah. in your head. and this similar is like a story one... but yeah, yeah yeah similar story but it's happening in, in the balkan in the bosnia in 1999 yeah. everywhere yeah in romania as well in romania as well tell me tell me nazir did you have access because like you're in from this part of eastern europe like we had access to a lot of like pirated software right and and i'm not ashamed to to to, to speak about this but like we had access to like macromedia flash and macromedia dream mover with which costs like a lot of money back then like i don't know 1500 maybe two thousand dollars but we had them for free because they were like pirated but that gave us the that gave me actually the the opportunity to work with technology and see if like i like it did you have that as well 
Absolutely. Even even I think even today I could remember uh, the uh, uh, Windows XP serial number. Yes. So me 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 personally I I did I did few few crack patch like in assembly for, for yeah. some sort of translator some translator. Okay. Okay. Assembly was like you try all the programming language even thirty even more than thirty programming language I downloaded and, and do hello world and do some some reading about. Just to see like which is the best for me for my brain for my logic so at, at some point it was like popular assembly like all oh, people patching the software and something like that but then i found some some translators you cannot find the patch what okay let's do let's find aida this assembler let's go in there let's go in deep so i even did that and yes i use it to be honest now now nowadays i'm, I'm buying to be honest like i'm buying a lot same here definitely so you, yeah, you I, could have you could have hacker on your LinkedIn bio as well, right? Uh, <laughs> a little bit. I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> it, okay. it's really, really, in, in the beginning, let's say the, the 2000, 2001, two, three, four, like that, that period, you know, it, it was an interesting part. You want to have everything, you want to gain, you want to try everything, like that. That's, Definitely. that's for, for the world. Yeah, okay. let's, go, uh, let's go back to the initial topic. So uh, uh, I want to know more about your interviewing books. And uh, could you like tell what was the inspiration to actually start writing these interviewing books and for how long have you been doing this? Okay, thank you very much, Yara. Sorry, Yara, we, I, I'm, I'm very uh, familiar for a little bit on site. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, the book, the book. Main, main goal of the book is to, to help everyone from senior to, to junior to beginners. Uh, in the book, there is like more than 500 questions from the basic to, to really complicated question and really concise answer. To be honest, I use a lot even chat GPT, but from before that, I had my old notes. I, I'm, I'm from 2014, I started with the Ruby on Rails and I had, and I got mostly the contracting, the uh, contracts. I, I work mostly on the contracts. And for contracts, you know, you, you do one month, you do two months, and you need to find another. So yearly, I had like a dozen, dozen of the interviews. All the time, some interviews, all the time, whatever. Even I had like 11 years experience in, in .NET, ISP.NET, certified, like, like, I, like I told you, like maybe four or five person in the Bosnia had that kind of certification. Uh, so I know my job. I know I'm not Superman, but I can do stuff like, you know, I can really do stuff. But no, when you come into Ruby uh, community, that's really not so good side of the Ruby. Like immediately, everybody uh, wants you to have ten years of experience and all the gems, popular gems, and you know to have two, three, five years and everything. Like, but I, I'm telling you, Ruby on Rails is one of the uh, easiest, easiest development environment of tech stuff. So if you want somebody. Yeah, if you want, if you want some expert in something, okay, give me time and I will be expert in whatever you want. You know, I, I, I all my history. If I tell you what what I did and I come to work with this, believe me, I can I can learn some elastic search and whatever, whatever you want. Like there was some time question like, oh, you didn't have experience five years. So I make a lot of notes every every time I have an interview. If there is new question for me, it's sound a little bit stupid, but okay, I write. Okay. Be prepared. So, so that, that's that's the main reason and frustration with with with, with interviews. To be honest, like yeah. no matter what you have, no matter what you do, it's not important. It's important what that guy on the other side at that moment thinks you need to know. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, really wrong. If they don't see, if they don't I, see I, the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just think like uh, the most important skill is uh, knowing how to learn. So not knowing something, but knowing like how to how to study, how to learn. Yeah, exactly. a lot of a lot of shaking heads here. Like yes, of course, yeah, you're pro precisely right. Yeah, for those <laughs> listeners there. Oh, look, we were not, uh, we are not just like that in Ruby and Rails. Like we are, Ruby and Rails is really some some nice logical uh, uh, logical. Let's say let, let's say tool and logical community and logic and everything. So it's. Easy, easy people yeah. who, who work with Ruby like over the, uh, the age, you know. Probably in our our part, if we go to some exam of the, our head, we had some specific 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 part of the brain 
developer just because using the Ruby like after 10 years or something like that. Yeah, and uh, yeah. so uh, you write books about interview questions, but uh, I sometimes think that the hardest thing is to actually get to the interviewing stage. So, for example, uh, uh, you know, like for a remote role, there can be thousands of applicants for the same position, and uh, uh, it can be additionally hard, like to even get into the interviewing stage. For example, a few months ago, I was looking for my next uh, job, and uh, uh, a few responses uh, after I sent my CVs were that uh, we already have like fifty candidates in the pipeline, so uh, we like first to go through all of them and then uh, come back to you. And uh, another friend of mine was hiring a, a React uh, Ruby developer. So like with a, a Ruby uh, backend and React frontend. And he said they received 900 uh, uh, applications, applications. applications for wow. this position. And uh, can you imagine like how hard it is for them to just filter out and find the right person? <laughs> you know what will help you there? What, what you're doing now? You are active in community, you know, everybody see Yaro somewhere. Everybody, if they click on your site, mm -hmm. if you click on your blog, they, they will see you are in, in technology. You, you yeah, will see uh, some, some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also think so. That's like, your shortcut to the top. Yeah, like being visible and so on. But uh, what about the people who are, uh, I know, not, not uh, like uh, doing podcasts or videos or blog uh, po posts? For example, people that uh, just like doing work. Like, uh, not everybody wants to be, I know, like, uh, super visible in social media. Uh, like I had I had argument even before when I worked in office with some guys who, who finished the College of uh, Electrotechnic or something, like, mainly in the Boston or in the Balkan, under Electrotechnic, there is some some kind of the uh, IT, uh, IT, IT, IT subjects or something like that, like most professional coming from, from Electrotechnic uh, College. And you know what they say, like, after... I don't know, nine years of, of the spending working as an IT developer or something. When I tell them, like, look, man, if you work as a software developer and you don't have anything to throw to, to public, that, that's really wrong. My, my opinion is if you, if you are two, three, five years in the, in the IT, you need to have your own personal blog. You need to have probably one, two, three websites. Or... No, it, it's really nice. GitHub, put something there. Put something Definitely. there. Build some gem, build some library, uh, <laughs> make some free site for, for other people. Blog, make blog, make better blog. Yeah. It's so easy. Install Joomla, install WordPress, uh, do something like, to me, Definitely. a serious developer, if you have 10 years and you don't have anything to throw. Their answer was, like, look, we ha I work a lot in some HP, company HP. Uh, like I work for them and we, you know, I, I cannot show, I cannot, you know, something like that. Man, you, you, you meet some problems on your job every day. Yeah. Make a blog. We meet the pro problem. We solve it like that. You can hide the name of the company. Let's share with the people, help other people. Definitely, you must be active in community. You know, yeah. I, I trust people who are some sort of expert, but nobody knows that. Yeah. Show, hey, show, show your code base or something like that. Awesome. Yeah, I, I think I think what what you're trying to say. I mean, how I how I see it is like, in instead of just saying, "Hey, I want to work in this field," like, "Hey, look what I did to get into like Absolutely. to try and get to this field." Yeah, right. Absolutely. This is like my test app. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, that's potential. That's potential. Everybody like, like everybody who who even like do do their job from HR or, or hiring just just millimeter from from standard standard yeah. way like oh, exactly. we have Let's choose three, four, five, and you know, no, yeah. just better. Just a little bit, yeah. Twenty seconds more to, to 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 come to your links in your CV to click. See, yeah, hmm, this is potential. This is potential. Definitely. Yeah, I really like what you're talking about, uh, like sharing uh, your learnings from everyday work in a blog. Uh, myself, I started doing it around three years ago, so just like a, a Jekyll blog. And uh, like, I know I should have started eight years ago, but I started just three years ago Absolutely. and like just sharing like cool stuff uh, from uh, what I've recently done, like a devlog. And uh, I really find it useful to structure uh, the knowledge that you recently received. And like, if I need to do the same thing again, I will uh, already not be Googling for it. I will already look at how I did it before from my blog. 
Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. When I come sometimes on Stack Overflow and see my my answer, you know, <laughs> they have me the problem and I yeah. see also the answer and that's me. Stack Overflow. It's really great, great, great things for seeing yeah. uh, more about the, the your candidate. If he believe me, sometimes when I don't when I bored over the weekend, I, I could spend like in Stack Overflow just answering people a question if I know. Even, even believe me, I, I built a small project just to show him. I put on the gift and I, I put the link on the Slack over. So yeah. this is how I how would I do that? Please check yeah. take if it's something simple or something. So yeah. there's no money way to 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 to, to, to be to be individual um and to to, to show yourself in, in mass of the people. Yeah, to be to be just a little bit above uh, everybody else. Yeah, yes, definitely. absolutely. Yeah. And I appreciate I more that than, than, than other, other side. Like. Mm. So uh, basically, to summarize, like uh, if you have a portfolio of uh, either code that you can show or like uh, blog posts that you do about your everyday coding life, then you are already on top of your competition. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, Absolutely. and going back to your Ruben Rails interview Bible, could you please tell more about uh, the book? Like what uh, chapters are there? What uh, can we expect? Uh, so yeah, in, in, in book 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 is pretty nicely 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 organized. There is even quotes, uh, snippets like some simple quotes, snippets, some 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 algorithms, some some things about uh, about uh, performance code writing. In, in general, there there is like uh, sections like about Ruby, a lot of question about Ruby, plain Ruby, about Rails testing, database debugging, uh, API development, deployment. Uh, DevOps agents, algorithms, uh, assets pipelines, because they are very popular in the old, yeah. you know, the rails, and also one good information for those kids when they they hear that uh, that there is a good money in the in the Ruby on rails. Yes, it's good money, but you will work with the Ruby. I don't know, two point one three or or in the rails four point one. That those apps make big money, and you know they can pay you a lot. You want all their code bases. Yeah. Yeah. You won't get so easy like Rails 7 and so easy, uh, including JavaScript and, and yeah. everything. And everything. So yeah, a lot of security validation, uh, front end, even even about a little bit about hot wire stimulus for turbo, other other Ruby frameworks. There are a lot of Ruby frameworks out there which are which are now not so active, but it was really, really nice, nice ecosystem about Ruby at some point. Even yes. today. There is no better better way to write uh, application than than Ruby on Rails. There is no better tool, believe me. But mm. what we can do, like I don't know, people don't understand. Like even those hiring management or, or uh, architect, software architect. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because they complicated with 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 their projects and, and startups and everything. Just to make Nazir, Nazir, let's not get into that. I I. I, I think we all know where where this leads, and let's not get into that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so let's yeah, no problem, no problem. But good vibe. Yeah, just 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 open. Just okay, no, definitely. So, so, yeah. Well, talking about uh, interview questions, actually, I remember a time when I was just googling like uh, Ruben Rails interview questions and opening maybe ten or twenty blog posts and just scanning through these questions and uh, just by reading the questions and the suggested answers, you also get to learn new stuff. Like uh, I know, I think my favorite question that f question that first comes to mind is like, what is the difference between block, proc, and lambda? <laughs> mm, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, that, that's one. Very often I, I get it. Like you know, almost let's say every, every second interview you will get that. Tell me something about that. Yeah, and you know, for my for my in my case, I had like uh, Excel, few Excel sheets with the list of all question and answers, like in one. Mm -hmm. And after some point. I was thinking, look, man, this is really hard to control, and it's not styled, and it's not not formatted. Yeah, yeah. I was mm -hmm. thinking, look, it would be really great to have some some document PDF or something. And mm -hmm. then Chat GPT comes, and then I experiment with Chat GPT, and then then answers on some simple questions. It's much 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 more concise, 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 precise. Let's say, let's yeah. say precise. Then then I have in, in my in my in my notes, then I was thinking, okay, let's try. And I use a lot, lot, but to be honest, like 
many times after, after 20, after 18 uh, questions, it will repeat itself. And then, then it's really complicated. Mm -hmm. So I, even, even using them, I spend a lot of time checking every question, even code, let's go check that code, mm -hmm. real code or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, like, the goal, I guess, of the book, uh, of everything, is to get uh, a job. And so, first of all, there is the point of, uh, like, uh, getting to the interview stage. So uh, we already dis discussed that, like, standing out by creating uh, a devlog or, like, a blog or something, a portfolio of projects. Then there are, like, uh, interview questions that uh, you can uh, read through and uh, have answers for. And what about the, for example, coding challenge? What do you think about coding challenges or, like, life coding, lead code tasks, home assignments? Uh, what are your thoughts about these kind of... Let me be uh, honest. Tasks? Let me be honest from 2018 until uh before maybe half year i never did any code challenge like maybe one or two just just when i feel that interviewer is a reasonable person and mostly i don't get that kind of the job you know they disrespect you immediately in the start they did mm -hmm. they beat you with some 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 i don't know algorithms or some some tasks uh, which at the end, they also had problem to finish. You know, they, they tell me like, oh, it was like this. And then they spent 50 minutes. Like they have mm -hmm. code, they have a solution that they cannot implement in, you know, that, that's disrespect. Believe me, after I, I show you CV, I show you 10 websites, I show you some gems, uh, whatever, whatever, Let, let's go. Let's talk about everything. I'll show my code. I'll show you 10, 10, 10, 10 projects. And you can say this is bad or not. You, you write nice code or wrong. And we can talk openly, but you know, you just come and say to me, oh, here is a task, let's finish talk. And you won't even, even check my result if, if I send you. Mm -hmm. I, but I spent one day, two days or something. So that's absolutely disrespectful way. If, if company do like that, I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not player for that. Mm -hmm. for that. Okay, so uh, I uh, agree with your approach. Like uh, if you have something to show, like some portfolio projects uh, that... Uh, uh, it is uh, actually much better than uh, like giving some kind of standardized tests. And uh, going further, so uh, so far, are there any success stories of uh, people who uh, possibly bought your book and uh, uh, had the successful interviews? Uh, to, to be honest, I didn't get any, any reply. It, it was month or something with the books, but books selling nice. Like there is a lot of people who buy. You know, I'm so happy. Even I did for free. Even I get like hundred, hundred, hundred percent discount. You know, when somebody asks me, yeah, no problem. In the meantime, I have like three, four books more, like about JavaScript and one thousand question about JavaScript. You won't find better, 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 better uh, place for all the JavaScript, JavaScript questions. There is like all nice. the six frameworks and everything. Like a lot of question about different frameworks and everything. Python also book and. I, I put also two free version of those JavaScript and and, and uh, Python books for for hundred twelve questions. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, there is free. So yeah, there, there is. But uh, Ruby on Rails is most be, be, best selling best selling for now. Probably okay. you know all, so all my, uh, my, mm -hmm. from Ruby War. So. Yeah, so like just to summarize uh, like about your book and uh, my initial thoughts. So coming back to my experience of like going through lots of blog posts and just looking at uh, what they write, I like the idea of like having uh, accurated the uh, list of questions and answers uh, that was, uh, well, uh, revised by somebody with uh, a lot of experience. So uh, yeah. let's say uh, somebody like with little experience could just like uh, make uh, a list of questions that he heard and his uh, proposed answers but if uh, it was like revised by somebody with auto experience and if there are a lot of questions it can be not only good for practicing for interviews but uh, also like learning uh slike absolutely question absolutely. answers every question question some knowledge. Questions. yeah every question has has some level of the knowledge every question it's not like just automatically let's learn yes no yes no 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 it's it's you, you to, you, you have really concise or precise explanation why what's happening even in the code you have the the, the part of the block where, where explaining yeah we, we are doing like that we are doing because of that it's on one place it's so good you know you just start to type and search show you list of the question different whatever or whatever i don't know whatever interviewer uh even you know even if you if you are an actual interview i think you can use it 
it's so easy. You have you have so many questions there to answer. If you want to even cheat, you can you can do it now. But yeah, definitely. But it's, so, it's really great. It's helpful every time I need every time every 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 new 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 interview needs something to to repeat. You definitely. Need. Definitely. Yeah, I have a, a quick question. Like, we're both like developer entrepreneurs here, like, uh, and I'm sure some of our listeners are too. Like, what advice would you give them, like, to reach more developers? How do you sell to developers? This is something that always interests me. Like, like, what is like one advice that you would could give like everyone? Like, hey, this is what you have to do to be to be to actually be able to sell to developers. Uh, you must have the community. Like, you really need to invest a lot of time in, in a free world. Gotcha, gotcha. My, Makes uh, sense. Ruby on Rails, Ruby on Rails. But BA, it has like yeah. almost nine million view page views from from two thousand fifty. That's the first website I built. Like I learned how, how many, almost nine million, like eight eight point five or something on the on the okay. index you see in the mm-hmm. uh, gotcha see page views page views. Mm-hmm. We talk about gotcha. The, you know okay memory. and uh, yeah to wrap up yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we're uh, we running out of time. So to wrap everything up, actually, we wanted to start a small tradition of uh, asking uh, Ruby developer guests one uh, final question. So what is your favorite gem? Device. Oh, that, that's very quick. That was so quick. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of other, but, you know, in every 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 application, I'm using device, and it helped me really. That, that I think device and... and uh, and that, that that Spanish guy who who started with Alexia, I think he he was he built it. Uh, I cannot remember the name. Now he 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 started Alexia. Uh, he he did a really great job. And I think the the the, the gem helped community so much to, to attract a lot of developers inside. You know, two three lines you have you have authorization authentication. You know, yeah, your authorization. definitely. Yeah, that's magic. Yeah when I come from the ISP. Yeah, so I like your answer a lot. And, uh, Me too, man. Yeah, I think uh, we'll be wrapping up now. So, uh, Nazir, thanks a lot for joining us. And, uh, uh, yeah, I invite everybody to check out uh, Nazir's book. He has actually published it uh, in a few different places, also on Amazon. And uh, we will leave a promo code to, to the book in the sure. description. Definitely. Guys, it was, I, I hope to you doing that. Yeah, yeah Nazar, it was uh, amazing to meet you and to talk to you. And uh, I think your book is very useful for uh, you know people starting out and wanting to like switch careers and stuff. Definitely. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, it will be useful. It's useful for me. It's useful for dozens of people who already buy. It. So definitely, in one place, yeah. have mm-hmm. for more. There is no place with five hundred interview actual interview question about it. okay so goodbye cool, cool. see you guys from from indonesia <laughs> see you